Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil Village. So we have a couple of things before we move to Heisenberg's area because we've got to go to his stronghold area as it says in the uh, the top left corner there. Um, we have this uh, a drawbridge here that I believe we can actually bring it down now because we have the crank. Um, so we'll go and do that first. And then secondly, I'm going to go and try and kill this giant ogre thing protecting the Beneviento's treasure. So once I've done the bridge and... Or, you know, look to that area and whatnot. I'll head over to here and go to this save point and uh, save it there. And then I shall proceed to try and take on the boss. Now that I have the grenade launcher, I feel a bit more comfortable to try and do it. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll attempt that again because I think before and now I've had some. I've got some buffs as well. I can block more damage. I've got more health. I feel like I'm more equipped to do it. And I think before you, it expected you to be a bit more leveled up going into that before. Any more lichens coming back through this area? Because we haven't been through here in ages. And now that some events have taken place, maybe they'll be spawning in some uh, some more creatures. But though, it doesn't seem to be the case. There's actually a boat. Interesting. What's that going to do for the for us then, I wonder? Going down to the boat. You know what I'm so happy about? Is that they haven't done the thing that they did in Resident Evil 7 with uh, Lucas. When Lucas uh, used to have the exploding crates, the, the fake ones. I'm so happy that, because that was so, like, annoying trying to remember. Where does this go then? It looks like it actually heads back into um, Castle Demetresque. It seems to head back to that area, so... And then if you go the other way, I don't even know where that leads. Oh wow, this is cool. In that case, in House Demetresque, we can actually search all the stuff, because we didn't do a 100% search in Demetresque, so... Um, we could do a proper search of the castle. Oh, look at where we are. I believe this is a bridge that we crossed before, or if not, we came to this area. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Now I can't recognize it that I've stood on the land. Right. This looks like I'm going to be fighting here. Oh, we've actually been... Oh, we're here. We came across... Oh, right. Okay, yeah, and the drawbridge. Did... Right, now I remember. This is as we were exiting the castle. Funnily enough. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, so I know where we are now. This is when we were leaving uh, the castle uh, for the first time after killing um, uh, Lady Demetresque. No, no, not the crank, not the crank, not the crank. Well, wheel, well, wheel. Well, 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 wheel, well, wheel. Well, what do we get out of this then? A ladder? I wasn't expecting that, I'll say that much. I feel like I'm being lured into like a mini boss fight here. I'm not feeling too comfortable about this, going down into wells, but we'll see what happens. Roll the dice, maybe we'll get something really good out of it, who knows. It's a really deep well, too. Oh. Oh, a lockpick in the water! Hell yeah. Um, This looks like a puzzle if I'm looking at it. Oh, we got a mine out of it, too. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, borderline looks like a puzzle to me. Um... Whoa, no, whoa, Ethan. Ethan, bro, calm down with the... that. That ain't needed for this situation. Can't break that. I've been playing um, some other games, so I may get my key bindings mixed up or messed up. Oh, 
Are we going to be attacked in here? Pipe bomb. So we've got a pipe. Oh, here we go. Yeah, definitely a puzzle. <laughs> And we're actually missing some of the stuff here. Some of the buttons. So we can get over here now. We could push this. I'm not sure why we want to do this, but we'll do it. Actually, yeah, she, we're getting just loads of items out of this, which makes me suspicious. Eight shotgun shells? That's loads. Can we push it further? Yeah, we can. Which means, ah, nice. Quite an easy puzzle, not, nothing really challenging. We're just getting items out of this so far. I'm afraid I'm going to get jumped by something down here, though. Because usually nothing comes without a cost in Resident <laughs> Evil. It's just giving me an explosive round. I can hear chains moving down there, too. Holy shit. Large pigeon blood ruby. Is that for... If I'm correct, we actually have a hole left in this. It is, isn't it? Hot dang. So we now have that as a valuable. Ooh, some magnum ammo. Uh, let's have a look. So one thing that's going to make me a lot more confident about fighting that creature, that troll thing, is that I have the magnum. I am going to just dump all my magnum ammo into that troll thing. Maybe not a wise decision. Oh, we get some flashbangs too. I still don't like this. Again. Felt way- This feels way too easy. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked now when I jump out. I just- I'm not used to getting things without having to fight for it in Resident Evil 8, at least. I'm scared the big troll thing's gonna attack me at the top here. Because we haven't seen the big one with the hammer in a while now. Let's uh, save it. I don't feel confident right now. Genuinely feel like I was about... Wait, hang on. If this is the right area, that means we can get a certain something. Ah, oh, We can't go through there. That sucks. And I believe this is actually at the bottom of the tower. Where Lady Demetresk dies. Okay, right. And let's head up here as well, because we couldn't get across here before. So I'm wondering if this leads to anything as well. Oh, it definitely leads to something. Oh, cutscene. It's a another puzzle? What are you playing at, RE8? These are big rooms. What the hell? Look at all that gold. Oh my, yes. I need to figure this out. You can shoot it. It wouldn't let me push it, so. That's a whole lot of Wonga, you know. That's, that's pretty good. There's a hole there. Oh! Yep. Yeah, there you go. I was expecting that. No. Can we knife it? Can we try and knife it? Yeah. 
save some ammo. Jesus, what is with all this handgun ammo? Oh, it's another one. Yep, he's dead. He's down. All right, so they're not giving us actually any sort of... Sniper rifle ammo. And that gets us something there as well. So we need to figure this out quick before... Can I... No. That's why it gave us so much goddamn ammo. Hmm. I'm unsure. Wait, I know what needs to be done. I know exactly what needs to be done. Do we need to fire a fight a bullet through there. No, okay. I thought that would... Never mind. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Can we? I don't know, dude. I kind of want to try and see if I can just blow it up, sort of thing, you know? Light it. I'd rather waste a pipe bomb than a grenade launcher. Woo! Okay. And we can actually get a two for one here anyway. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Unless it's about lighting this guy on fire, which might be the case. Oh my god, it totally is. Oh my god. I was thinking, there's only one constant through it all. Please say you do. Oh. I am legendary. I gotta tell you that much right now. What a champion I am. I feel so proud of figuring that out fairly quickly. Golden lady statue. More magnum ammo. And that is this treasure done. Let's get the hell out. Right, again, that feels too easy. Is there gonna be something waiting for me on the other side? Nope. Cool. Right, we'll get on the boat and head out, I guess. Again, is there somewhere we can... No, that's blocked off. Right, so we just got... I'm assuming it's just... And it's not even... A statue based on Dimitrescu. That's narcissistic. Yeah, well, she was a bit full of herself, to say the least. We've actually got so many resources right now. Well, I say so many. We've actually got four healing on us. I could create... Create some sniper rifle ammo. And then we'll get the magnum out. Oh, you can only carry up to five. Okay, that's no problem. So, right, we have those. We have the treasure now. So we've just got to go and kill the, the thing now. We'll, he we'll head um, downstream, see where we end up, actually, also. Because I'm curious to see where that, where that can lead. Maybe there's another area that we can get something, you know.
Or maybe you can't. Maybe there is no way down there, but... Not no way down, but... It goes somewhere, for sure. It's led us here? I don't... Where is here? Somewhere we haven't been. I don't think, at least. That's a cave. <gasps> Fish. Finest fish. Oh, yes, the upgrades. I can smell them already. There's a cave here, though, which makes me a tad bit nervous. Okay, it can it does let me go back. I'm a bit nervous. Fuck. Antique coin? These they were they were in Resident Evil 7. Intricately designed coin looks like the one from the Baker house. <gasps> so it is linked. That's another hint that Louisiana and all that. It's all linked, all the mold and everything. That's such a cool way to hint at it. Oh, it's an upgrade for the shotgun. Excellent. So if we examine it, what does it actually do? Increases the fire rate. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match to Dolby. Um, muta I don't even know. The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and... Further investigations into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the muta, mutamyce, mutamycete, which might, are part of a network of consciousness. If that network is linked here, then we could assume the organism here is data storage. If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Huh. So it is... So the same mold that took over the Baker family is actually the mold that's here. It's the same infection. It's the same disease and there's like a mutation. There's a very slight mutation in it. So this works. So this uh, this whole thing... It, it all works together. It's all connected. Interesting. There's a boss fight here. There is absolutely a boss fight here. It's given me loads of crap. I'm going to get attacked here, aren't I? On my way out. Go, Ethan. Hurry up, bro. And the hive just attacked me as soon as I moved into an area even remotely close. Okay, you know what? I was expecting... I'm really expecting this big guy with the hammer to come out of nowhere at any point. Because that big troll that's defending that grave... That made me think, okay, well, the hammer guy could be a mini-boss that pops out of nowhere. Which is what I was thinking. Was I thought he was going to be in a cave or something. I totally thought that was going to be like a troll cave or... You know, something of that sort. Right, we need to see the merchant, like, now. We've got a lot of good treasure. Um, finished off that necklace, and we've also 
Got a new attachment. Loads of equipment. Um, we got loads and loads of explosives now. We got four landmines, one pipe bomb. You know, oh my, it's just, it's unholy the amount of uh, ammunition that I have right now. And the cool ass weapons I got. And I've got four healing on me as well. I got 108 rounds on the go. So we can sell all that. Maybe we can get something else as well uh, from the Duke. Maybe we can upgrade our weapons a bit more. And we can actually... As you wish. We can have a look at the Duke's kitchen also. Health increases permanently. And then we've got movement speed increases permanently. The movement speed would be really nice. And so we'll put the finest fish because that's the only one that can go in there. And then we can finish off for the... I want my health Carry increase on. permanently. So we only need to kill one chicken and we can get another health increase. Let's have a look at... 50,000! And 20k for uh, Lady Demetresque. I don't think that's enough money for her, but... Splendid. There you go. Do you know it's worth? Cool. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Have Winters. You, have you now, have you? Oh, I could upgrade the hank because I've got so much excess money now. I could easily upgrade the... Um... I might, might do it. This thing will be an absolute... Yeah. Leave this to me. We'll do that as, and maybe the reload speed as well, because this thing is in sore need of some faster reloading. I think we are pretty well. I don't see. I'm looking at this, and and in, in on paper, a high magnification scope sounds like a really good idea, but like it doesn't need to be any more zoomed in than it already is. Like I haven't found like a range at which I need to zoom in further yet, so. It's kind of an unnecessary purchase, I feel, for me personally, so. Pay me no mind. Right. Thank so, you for your patronage. Yep. I'm, I'm Yeah, I mean I think I'm I think I'm your only patron, but still. It's nice to know I'm I'm wanted at least. Right. Let's go and deal with this goddamn troll thing. I am a bit nervous, to say the least. Because that thing we lasted a long time against the creature but it and we ran out of literally all ammunition but i have way more explosives this time i have just i am well more i'm way well more i am way more prepared than i was last time i mean i wasn't expecting to be you know fighting a giant ogre thing last time i didn't actually prepare for the fight whereas this time i literally did some puzzles got loads of money did some upgrades got loads more ammo and didn't even have to use it so Really, it's been like a perfect setup for this boss fight here. A mini boss fight, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely a mini boss fight. It's not a boss boss fight. So we've actually got a typewriter up here. So I'm going to save before we head down there just in case I get my ass absolutely handed to me. Which could very well happen. Dude, I'm scared to be in this valley still. After that episode, just with... Oh, God, it was so awful. Just... That episode in the dollhouse just sends shivers down my spine. That's easily one of the scariest things I've played. Um, without a shadow of a doubt. Right, so we got the shotgun looking good. Handgun. And we got seven explosives. I don't want to use all my grenade launcher ammo on him. Because I feel like it'd be a waste. Um... I feel like that's, I need to use this for other things. But we got a lot of sniper ammo. And we can craft something, some things if we really need to. Let's go. Come on, walk into the landmine, bro. Oh, 
Let's go, dude. We can tank it. Damn, we still got full HP. Uh, pipe bomb. Uh, let's get another landmine. This guy is just taking it. This guy is just so powerful. We got him. We better get something good off him. We didn't even use a health kit. Giant crystal axe. Hell yeah. And we did it. We've actually did take a bit. We'll use one of the health kits now in a second. Where's the slab? Broken slab. What do we get out of this then? A chalice. So we can sell that for a bit of money. Right. That was really fun. The guy took a hell of a beating. Um, I used a lot of ammunition on him. But we still got loads of handgun ammo. We got plenty of shotgun. We used a lot of sniper rifle ammo. We only used a couple of things and we lost a good amount of our explosives. Unfortunately, a couple of those landmines went to went to waste. Didn't really work on him. Because the first time I fought him, I actually placed the landmine. And it worked perfectly. He walked straight over it. But every time it, I placed a landmine, he just didn't seem to come the direction that I placed it, unfortunately. But we've done that. I mean, I'm looking... I'm trying to think. Do we even... We've gotten pretty much all the treasures except the ones up here. And is that... I'm trying to think. It's the fish. Ooh, poultry! <gasps> Chickens! We can get a health increase. Oh my god. I, I tell you what. This game, like, the exploring the village and going around, like, doing the menial side stuff between the main stuff has done so well. It's done perfectly. I felt like I've just done steady progression. I feel, like, way more powerful. Upgrading my guns feels amazing. Upgrading my app, Ethan, is amazing. Like, how it feels to upgrade stuff. It just feels great all around. Like, you know, I really enjoy the combat in this game. You know, maybe it's different. I, I can't imagine playing this on a controller. I'd feel... Because right these days, I feel like it's gross to play on a controller for me personally. And I used to be a console player. And I used to be... Um, obviously, I never knew mouse and keyboard until I got a PC. And I've only been... I've been playing PC for like about uh, five years now. Um, and prior to that, the previous... You know, I played like on console for like 10 years prior to that. So... It didn't... Playing on a controller now feels gross to me, but playing on a mouse and keyboard for the first time felt gross then. Actually, it always felt good playing on a mouse and keyboard. That's why I just love mouse and keyboard, because it always felt good to play, even when it's your first time playing games with it. It's always a really fun time, I, fi I find. And I prefer the more accurate aiming and stuff. I just can't play on controllers anymore, unless it's like a third-person game like The Witcher or something like that, where there's melee combat mainly and no guns. But I can't play first-person shooters with a controller oh, yes. anymore. Right, Duke, I got some things for you, bro. 18k, 30,000. Splendid. Do you know it's worth? We have Lay coming out the this ass is all right an now. Investment, Ethan. So we've got max power on everything. I mean, I could just spend money for the sake of spending money, but. 
rate of fire? Do we want rate of fire? Ammo capacity? I wouldn't want rate of fire for the wolf's bane because I take accurate shots with that. Hmm. I don't feel like upgrading anything right now until... Because we may unlock some more stuff yet. Um, I feel like we're not going to, but we may unlock more stuff. Let's just get yes, the 10 I can rounds. see why you'd be interested in that. And we'll get some more of Securing that. Securing good. Thank you for your patronage. We'll heal up. Get a full heal on. And we still got... Yeah, I was going to say... We still got, we got three heals still, so that's amazing. Ten bullets. And now we can give a reload on that. God, this has been... I feel like this has been a really successful playthrough. That might be biased. <laughs> that might sound a little biased, but I feel like we've been doing pretty amazingly so far. Rose is waiting for... Dude, honestly, that is such a, uh, a piss take on his part. So we've actually got the poultry up here. And this is the way This is the way that Heisenberg uh, wants us to go. So we still have some searching around to do. I mean, it's been about half... Is that the hammer guy? I got a feeling that was the hammer guy. I'm having second thoughts now, all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's give it... Uh, oh, there's a typewriter right here. Perfect. We'll save it. Um, yeah, that's made me a little bit nervous, to say the least. Um, we're half an hour in, and we've just been searching this entire time and been doing side stuff. Nah, this is too small of an area for the big guy, isn't it? What was that sh scream? Was that... That's got to be the, um, the thing, isn't it? The big uh, hammer monster. can hear the chickens. <laughs> Poultry. Only two chickens, but we only needed one. It's locked from the other side? Uh, let's get the knife out, because I don't want to waste a bullet on that. The the upgrades are, like, quite minimal as well. That's one thing that I could, like, criticize. I think maybe, may, not the damage, not the damage upgrades, but maybe the, re like, the reload speed. Maybe they could be taken up a bit to be buffed a little bit, because it does, it's, like, literally, like, 0.2 of a second, like, upgrade, which I guess can mean a lot in a fight. It can add up. But maybe we haven't unlocked all the upgrades yet either. But, um... I swear I can hear one of those goat... Maybe it's just the stuff thing, like, jiggling around in the... In the... Uh, right. Let's head back to Duke. And get our health increased again. But I'm feeling pretty good now because in that ogre fight we just did, I blocked and I didn't really lose that much health. I lost a tiny bit. I was still green when he hit me, so after blocking. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. So those upgrades. Food is life. Food is life? I can agree with that. Thank you. Now to cook. Great. Here it is. Please join me. Look at that. Not a bad dish. Health increased again. Movement speed. Mm -hmm. Right, that's all the poultry done. We don't. We won't be finding any more chickens. It's just fish now, so we can get a slight health increase again, or movement sp speed permanently increased. I am still so frustrated. I missed all those fish coming out of Castle Demetresk. Really pissed off about that. Um, I really hope we can go back there at some point. To... I can hardly wait for the next ingredients. Unless I can go back and I don't know about it, but if 
feels doubtful because I think the way I went was actually um, the way I went initially. I'm assuming the bridge is still going to be up. The way I went out of the castle, you can't go back in that way. I think where I got off on the boat earlier in the video, that's where um, I came out. I went through. That was the door I went through, but it wouldn't let me actually go through the door. So. Yeah. I really hope I can go back in there at some point, but I got a feeling I won't be able to. I didn't even search all the rooms fully. Um, there was only like a couple of red rooms, but uh, I did leave some, unfortunately. How much stuff have we got? Oh, actually, I forgot. I ran into Chris and... Oh, I forgot you, he has, like, he puts his own notes into these. I ran into Chris and his goons in a shock... Um, in a shack, sorry. I ran into Chris and his goons in a shack by the lake. They seem to be researching something. What are they up to? I had so many questions, but then that giant fish, turns out, was Moreau, attacked. I need to get out of here. But he said the exit was underwater. Moreau's belly up, and I'm almost out out of the lake. Then um, who shows up at the last? Uh, shows up at the last child Heisenberg. Not in person, of course, through a dusty old TV. He told me the last flask is in some stronghold. I'm not going to let him have his way, but I don't have many other options right now. This better not be a trick. Well, what? What do you think it is, Ethan? I mean, he has no choice. It's literally his only lead. But I kind of hoping we'll have Chris to help us here, but. I'm not sure if he's going to turn up like at the last second. Good luck. Oh, dear God. I feel like we're about to be put into a gauntlet right now. There's explosive barrels. We got one. Are there fish in here? I'm looking for a meal for Duke. That's about it. I don't want to fight anyone. Peace and love and all that. There's a treasure in here, so... It's locked from the other side, naturally. Well, I don't really want to cross that water, to be honest. This feels like one big trap, and there's actually a... Ooh. I don't think this is the way we're meant to go. I think this is a side area, actually, but... I wasted one bullet. That's fine. Got two meat out of it. I got a feeling I'm going to get attacked on the way back down, to be honest. Mine. Mine. Yeah, this is setting me up for something. Crystal fragment. Accidentally found that, which is always nice when you accidentally pick up something. Like, you look at something and it highlights it. I'm not a fan of that. Oh dear God. This got terrifying very quickly. Sorry, my phone isn't on silent. <laughs> Is this where I was meant to go? Uh, I'm gonna get a shotgun out for this. Oh, fuck. Not this asshole again. And this is what...
This is what the mines are for. Hey, buddy. I don't want to get trapped. Let's go upstairs. That didn't stop him. That did not stun him at all. We got a pipe bomb. Eat shit. I killed your brother earlier, by the way. Just so you know. Let's get the grenade launcher back out. Oh shit. I got him, I got him, I got him. Those little shits were more annoying than the actual boss. At least he was predictable. These shits just fly all over the place and make it annoying. God, that went really well. Besides the fact I got lost my hearing then by them screaming in my ear. Although we are pretty much out back out of ammo again. Um, a giant crystal axe. Another one. That's another 30k. Hey, we made back our um, explosive ammo as well that we lost. Chem fluid. Our health is looking great. We actually ta we actually blocked a hit from him and pretty much didn't lose any health. We used so much ammo though in that one fight. I'm actually gonna make some more sniper ammo because we certainly need it. Shotgun shells. Is that everything in here? Nope, definitely not. Oh, there's, sn there's sniper rifle. I wouldn't have made that sniper ammo if I knew that that was there. Well, that was a really fun mini boss. It wasn't the big hammer guy. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be in a big boss fight, the big hammer guy. He's going to be like in a bigger, his own thing. He's not going to be a mini boss fight. He's going to actually be like Heisenberg's going to sick him on me or something like that. And be like, oh, go, you know, go and deal with him for me. Is there one of those crystal fragments around here? That's what I'm thinking there probably is. I was wondering when the boss was actually screaming loads. He was like, and he called the birds in. I was thinking he's calling in for backup. And there's got to be like some other creatures coming in. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought we'd be able to. Is there really nothing else in here? There, well, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. I am looking around for absolutely nothing then. Oh. Hey, we get some rewards at least. A bunch of meat for Duke. Duke will be happy. 
Fish. That's a scrap. Meat. I want more fish, though. Can I have more fish, please? July 8th. Today's the daily... Uh, today, <laughs> today's the daily... Um, today's the day the Jolly Merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is always so fascinating. So they're really, like, locked off. They don't know what else is going on around the world, most of them at least. Apart from this guy. There was one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It was an article about some medicine company. I don't remember the name, but their emblem looked familiar. Umbrella company. It was the same symbol on the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave too. That's radiating... Uh, that radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it has anything to do with that man that stayed here all those years ago. Now nah, I'm overthinking it. That man that stayed here years ago? Huh. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff over there. Father Nicholas Angel. God, we got so much money out of this. We're really low on gunpowder. That's all we're running out on right now. Oh, I wonder if we could have just ran outside to fight him. Because there's explosive barrels. Down here as well. Oh, never mind. Well, that was easy. <laughs> They just got wiped from the face of the earth. Chem fluid, rusted scrap, gunpowder, perfect. Let's go underneath here. There's got to be something else here, right? Any more fishies? That's... I thought I heard a goat in there. That's what I was looking around for. Turns out the goat was underneath us all along. I thought I heard something then. Let's go and have a look. It's got—I mean, it's a—it's a shallow place. There's got to be fish down here somewhere, right? No, apparently not. That's a shame. That's a real shame. So this whole area is done and dusted. Otto's mill. So that was Otto, eh? Right, before we continue up to Heisenberg, let's head straight back down to the merchant. And sell more things and get more upgrades and get more goodness. And I don't know. I don't think we have enough to get another upgrade for our Ethan. But um, it's always nice to hope. Merchant, I have something for if you, my friend. If it's just looking, window shop away. Window shop away. Hell yeah. If it's just like, wait, you don't want to buy things? This doesn't sound like you. Oh, do I want movement speed, though? That's the thing. Do I want movement speed? Because it sounds amazing. I probably do want movement speed. But then also having a little bit of extra health is always great, too. I'm going to go for the, the short win. I'm going to go for that. I don't know what we do with the rest of this meat, though. Oh, my God. Now, this is something to splurge on. To hunger. Used to be alive. Okay. <laughs> Slightly disturbed. Well, we have so much money, we might as well uh -huh. buy a bunch of rounds. Till next we meet. I don't know what all this, what this excess meat we can do with is. Um, I really don't know. 
It's taken up inventory space, but we've still got a lot of inventory space at the same time. Let's give it a save. So I'm not really sure what to do um, with the excess meat. Unless we end up unlocking more upgrades, but I feel like we're kind of coming to the last quarter of the game, I would have thought. Considering we've only got the last bit of rows to collect. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. A part of me also almost wants to end the part here because we're heading into, like, a bigger area. Like, the next big, like, full-on area. And it might we might be in there for a while, you know? Kind of tempted. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, because I, I don't want to, like, end... Because we, we're already 50 minutes in, and we haven't even started, like, the area of Heisenberg yet, really. Not properly. So I don't want to go in there, and we start something, and then it ends up being, like, a two-hour-long video. Um, I, that'd be too long of a video. So I'd rather us just start off the next part with heading in straight into Heisenberg's area and seeing it all for the first time for one whole episode, and maybe even complete Heisenberg section in that one, and then whatever awaits us after that. So, anyway, yeah, we'll save it here. We'll save it in, inside this uh, chapel. And then we'll, once the next part starts, we'll head straight into Heisenberg's area. I cannot wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, guys.